hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and the other day i was asked a question that what is rahu's connection how does how does rahu see these planets you know sun moon and jupiter these three planets so today we will see how rahu is uh, actually behaving in the planetary relationship with these friends all right for example how does rahu behave in the houses which uh, which has these three planets as their Karakas. Alright, so if you have not watched my video on Karakas, then please go to my Astrology Basics playlist and you can type K A R A K A S. Did I spell it right? Hopefully. So you can go there and you can check the video. Okay, so you will understand what Karakas are, what significators are. It is not there in this playlist, it is there in the other playlist. Astrology Basics. Again, I am repeating. So there you go. If you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope or your Rahu or your Sun, Moon, Jupiter, any other planet then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of this and all my other videos below alright and because today's video is on Rahu I must say God is there with you <laughs> all the time and Look to him and you will hopefully find him. <laughs> okay, so what Rahu is basically? Rahu is the planet of desire basically. Rahu wants to get everything. Because he thinks that if I get everything, I'll be happy. Rahu is that part within us which tells us that the only reason you are not happy is because that desire is not getting fulfilled. This desire is not getting fulfilled. I want this girl, I want that girl, I want this boy, I want that boy, I want him, I want her, I want a million dollars, I want this degree, I want a job, I want this, I want that. <sighs> this is all Rahu. See, Rahu is the Rahu's prime enemies. Yes, <laughs> it is the sun, moon and Jupiter. These three are prime enemies. Forget Mars and Forget what Saturn is. Forget his friends like Mercury, Venus. Forget all these plans. Let's come to the point. The point is these three. Sun, Moon and Jupiter. Because he has the power to eclipse Sun and Moon. Alright. Which means that when Rahu uh, comes over us, then we tend to forget ourselves. We tend to forget our morals. We, we ourselves are represented by the Sun and Moon. We all know that Sun and Moon represent us inside as a person and Jupiter represents our morals our values so when Rahu gives us the allurement we tend to forget our morals we tend to indulge in wrong activities which we regret later or maybe we indulge so much that we don't even regret later sometimes <laughs> so now see Rahu so let's take Sun Sun is the Karaka for which house is the Karaka for the first house and the ninth house all right then moon is the Karaka for the fourth house so these three houses are covered then jupiter is the karaka for which houses it is the karaka for the second house then is the karaka for the fifth house then is the karaka for the seventh house yes jupiter is the karaka for the seventh house apart from venus all right then it is the karaka of the ninth house then it is also the karaka for the eleventh house some people also say it is also the karaka for the tenth house sometimes but primarily Saturn and Mercury and Sun are responsible. Yes. And yes, Sun is also the Karaka for the 10th house. We all know that. So Sun is Karaka for 3, Moon is for 1 and Jupiter for so many. Jupiter also is the Karaka for the 11th house. So now you see when Rahu sits in these houses, then what happens is these are the houses where he can exemplify his animosity with Sun, Moon and Jupiter to the highest extent. Because he is very angry there. Now, angry doesn't mean that he will destroy that house or he will spoil that house. Okay. But we have to understand how Rahu behaves. So, suppose Rahu is sitting in the ascendant. Surya is the Karak for the first house. And because the word Dhi Mahi is used in Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Jupiter is also sometimes linked to the first house. Apart from Mars, of course. Mars gives the body because it's the first house, Aries. So, the first house has sun as the Karaka because that's the natural being. 
that's the basis of existence if lagna is not there you don't exist i don't exist nobody exists so when rahu is wanting to associate with the lagna and yes before i start speaking about this i will give a disclaimer here i am not speaking of placements like what rahu will do if it is in first second fourth fifth seventh ninth or eleventh i am not speaking of these eight houses or these seven houses i am not speaking of that i am just trying to tell you how to understand rahu and rahu's link so now rahu doesn't like sun moon and jupiter because these three because see sun moon is basically who they are we inside as a person which tells us that you be yourself don't try to pretend that you are somebody else if you are looking good this much don't try to pretend like ashwarya rai don't try to pretend that you look like priti zinta or don't try to pretend that you look like sunny leone you don't need to do that you are individually complete and uh, fulfilled inside that is there by default that's what sun moon is but when rahu comes we become obsessed with our appearance we become obsessed with our money sun represents finances and jupiter is well our morals our wisdom our connection to god our higher anything which is higher than this material realm that's jupiter so when rahu comes in contact with jupiter there can be a challenge in following those things because then what what happens is rahu tells sun moon and jupiter hey look you are not good enough rahu sun rahu moon hey you are not good enough you see you are lacking something because it has to put desire inside you and then what you do is you go on surfing i want this i want that you go on breaking the rules of the scriptures which have been entitled by the rishis the great sages and saints and mahatmas for our spiritual well being which is jupiter we go on breaking those because rahu tells us that by following this tradition you cannot be happy you go to any tom dick and harry person born in the 70s 80s and 90s in india especially around 80s 90s or to be more precise i would say 90s from my generation you go and ask them that oh what's the problem you know uh, there are so many issues in this world blah 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 this is there that is there so what they will say yeah the only reason is that people are following their old culture you know the religion is the problem people are being religious that's the problem they will say so that means they believe that if you break religion if you break traditions you break customs you break the existing system then you'll be very happy that's what rahu makes you believe and rahu gets exalted in gemini which is the original third house and therefore third house also represents marketing industry at times where lots of things are exaggerated sometimes oh this is the best product you will not find any product like this things of this sort they say in the marketing industry so those things rahu also tells us hey why are you just uh, marrying na? you should go on you can, you can have premarital sex that's fine there's no problem the only reason you are not happy is because you are not having a love marriage i get more than 10 to 15 mails every day mails i mean in my mailbox then in my whatsapp and in my facebook people writing to me especially indians yes 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 i am talking of indians holy indians of which i am also part <laughs> they write to me that they are planning to commit suicide why because they are not going to have a love marriage some astrologer told so they think that because they say that oh my family is not allowing me to have love marriage you know my family is saying to go for arrange marriage don't marry this girl don't marry that girl now they think that if they go and marry that person or if they have a love marriage or whatever you call it or they are searching yogas in astrology do they have rahu in fifth house seventh house these are uh like i have a video love marriage indications in astrology that is one of the most viewed videos and most commented videos in my channel okay not the bhagavad gita videos not the other videos that video all right most commented most viewed may not it may not have the highest number of views but it's very active in you know, all the time people are asking questions in that video so so many people write to me that oh i am not going to have a love marriage will i have a love marriage if i don't have then i will die blah 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 this that so they think that just by having a love marriage everything will vanish all your problems will be solved why they are behaving like this because rahu has eclipsed their mind they think like this that doesn't mean that if you have an arranged marriage 
you will never have problems or having an arranged marriage is the solution i'm not saying that but to think that just by having a love affair or a love marriage all your problems in life will vanish well if that was true then west would not degrade the situation of america would not be so bad the way it is now every third marriage ends in a divorce why they are having love marriages there are no arranged marriages in Aust- uh, in countries like america in countries like uk or, or australia wherever you go but why are marriages ending in divorce so love marriage is not the holy glorified solution as it is projected in the media yes so but rahu eclipses the sun and moon and jupiter so we are like okay maybe because of that i am unhappy <laughs> so when rahu associates with the first house then it corrupts the intelligence depending on the whole chart of course now somebody will write in the comments oh this politician has rahu in first that a uh, spiritual guru has rahu in the first house but you have to see the whole chart okay so when rahu associates with the first house it has the power to corrupt the intelligence all right so first and fourth house sun and moon they are the karakas for this house so fourth house is the house of inner peace inner happiness so rahu when associates associating with these two houses it can take away the inner peace of a person it will always give you a feeling that look that person has more than you have because fourth house is the house of luxuries everything is fourth house actually to be very honest fourth house is the physical comforts which you have in life have you seen people have you seen people they are fighting like many of my friends who are staying in bangalore who are staying in mumbai who are staying in kolkata chennai the only thing they have to discuss when i call is oh i will buy a 2 bhk flat or a 3 bhk flat because their girlfriends are tormenting them that oh after i get married to you what will you give me look that person uh, is going to purchase a mercedes benz and you are working because my age is 26 so my friends they are one year uh, elder to me because i had skipped uh, my father had made me skip one uh, class so i uh, am one year younger than my school friends so they are all in their 27th uh, 28th year and 27 28 that is their age so uh, now they are like into all this property and you know buying flats and buying buying cars <laughs> so they uh, they keep telling me that oh you know my girlfriend is tormenting me she is telling me why where will you keep me after marriage blah 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 all those things so they think that um, not only their girlfriends they themselves also okay all my male friends they also think they think if i have a better car i'll be happy and their girlfriends think if they have a bigger home they will be happy yes that's that's the predicament so because of that what happens they are taking a uh, uh homes in such posh areas costly areas where they have to pay around 1 crore or more than 1.5 crores depending on the price and the place and then they have to put emi for the rest 25 years now they can also purchase a flat which is for 30 35 lakhs somewhere in a decent location maybe 1 bhk or 2 bhk it may cost 40 45 lakhs that's fine or maybe it may cost 50 lakhs but well, they will not do that they will buy a home which is in a posh area which is in a it's like a very it's like in a it's like in a very enticing place you know it's like there's a lot of things happening there so there they will play uh, they will they will, they will uh, try to take the place there so for the next 30 years they will be paying emi you know one of my friend was telling how much emi he will be paying monthly and i was like oh, my god <laughs> so rahu will give you this feeling that you always lack luxuries second house jupiter is the karak you always lack money you don't have money you see that person has money that is why he is happy only if you have this much money you will be happy so keep all the money only only always think of yourself that's what rahu does that is how rahu destroys the second house and at the end it may end up giving you money but at the end of the end it will always tell you you don't have money you see so it gives you and then bids you and it bids you by giving or by taking away sometimes if rahu is associated with the 12th house so this is how rahu plays and 5th house my god 5th house is the house of creativity 5th house is the house of fun rahu says oh they have gone to las las vegas they have gone to berlin they have gone to goa they have gone 
to uh, Maldives. Yes. Like when my brother was married, uh, there was uh, another uh, of his friend who got married. So that friend of my brother, he had celebrated his uh, honeymoon in Maldives. All right. So everybody was telling to my brother or not everybody. I mean, there were some people who were telling to my parents sometimes that, oh, they are going to Maldives. Now, where is your son going? <laughs> and now the funny thing is that that person who had his honeymoon in Maldives that recently this time when I went home to Guwahati two months back I came to know that he divorced his wife ran away with somebody else that's what happened so the Maldives honeymoon was not of much use all right that's the fifth house fifth house is fun enjoyment yes watching tv I want I cannot see a 21 inch tv I need a 52 inch tv have you seen Sony Bravia 52 inches oh my god <laughs> such a big TV they will take take a big TV but don't put things like Tata Sky or YouTube or you can put YouTube or don't put things like the no, movies in that you can put the PDF of Srimad Bhagavatam and there you read one one verse will be like this this big my god it's like too good you can put the lecture of spiritual gurus whoever you find in YouTube that you can put or you can watch things like Little Krishna in YouTube. Yes, whoever wants to watch cartoons, they can watch Little Krishna. Or there are uh, so many devotional songs which you can hear by YouTube. By that, you can use the TV. The TV is not the problem. You know, the connection is the problem. <laughs> but they will still buy 52-inch TVs. Yes. They will travel in business class. Even when... They are barely surviving for traveling in economy. I know many people who still travel in business class. Because they have this feeling that I need more, 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 more. Only then I'll be happy in life. So you travel in business class. You can just give an ordinary ring to your girlfriend. You can propose her with that. But you will not do that. What you will do? You will say, I will go and give you a proposal, marriage proposal. It will be the dream proposal. You, know, you will book a resort that's of uh, 1 lakh rupee per night yes there are so many resorts they charge you sometimes 10,000 20,000 50,000 sometimes even to 1 lakh yes there are so many places I know in this world they charge you that much money why oh you know I am proposing to the love of my life now that you can do in a normal setting also with your friends with your family blah 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 but you will not do that because Rahu tells you unless you do that you will not be happy that's how Rahu hits you there Welcome to 7th house. Relationships. Oh, why should I stay with one person? Go on indulging with multiple partners, right? 7th house, 7th house, 7th house and 7th house. Half or 80% of the people are into astrology because of the 7th house. Alright? 5th house and 7th house. These are the two only reasons. They, Whoever they are single, they want to know when they are going to get into a new affair. When they will have sex with somebody okay or if they are into a relationship if that's not fine they want to know when will it be fine or will it be fine or not and if not then when will they have the divorce or separation or breakup or if they're in a relationship they're like i'm in a relationship but i'm bored with this person you know there's that honeymoon la la land that romance has faded away and then now i want to uh, find somebody else but i want to keep this person as my backup Yes, I've seen so many people doing it, especially uh, some girls I know. I mean, I know them personally who do such stuff. What they will do, they are already into a relationship. Then they will keep their boyfriend as a backup. And when they keep it, keep them until they find somebody else, they will keep their boyfriend. And men are men are like sometimes the extreme. Men are like one step ahead. <laughs> so many of my friends I know. They are having girlfriends and they will go and uh, have physical relation with somebody parallelly. That's what they will do. <laughs> so men, women, both scratching each other's back. That's what is happening in Kali Yuga, most of the people. And then Rahu tells you, you know, oh, you know, how can you be satisfied with one person? <laughs> why, you, why you want to get married? There are so many people who write to me nowadays that, oh, I don't want to get married. Now you don't want to get married. That's fine. If that is for some family responsibility you have or some people are not 
wanting to do the sacrifice which uh, invo- which is involved in a relationship or somebody doesn't want to stay or they don't have an emotional need then that's fine or you are taking sannyas and going on the spiritual journey that's perfectly fine but if you don't want to marry because you think staying with one person is difficult and because of that you will indulge wherever whenever with whomever you want then i ensure you congratulations you will be the most frustrated person to ever live all right if that would make somebody happy sleeping with one person every night different person every night then people who are working in the adult film industry yes pornography porn stars prostitutes they they would be the happiest person to have ever lived but if you go and check their lives their inner happiness if you read their stories then you will understand what a how how miserable they sometimes feel themselves because they can enjoy with anybody but they cannot get happiness they have unlimited pleasure but no happiness sometimes unless they are into some committed relationships with somebody which which if happens they are very lucky but most of the times it may not happen so they they have so much avenues for pleasure but for uh, enjoyment there is uh, i mean for happiness there is rarely anything sometimes okay so rahu tells that to you in the 7th house oh my god you're finished you know you will be bored with this person so many people write to me that i don't want to uh, there are so many indians who write to me either i will have a love marriage or i will not marry <laughs> but i will not go for arranged marriages because rahu tells you arranged marriages are boring you know because the media has made such a hue and cry about arranged marriages they say that uh, arranged marriages is like uh, having an arranged marriage is like committing suicide they they have uh, given these view points to people and any any indian you go and ask in the street will you have an arranged marriage now in 21st century they will go and say oh no i don't want to die i don't want to commit suicide better than that i will stay unmarried okay that's what uh, that's what has happened to indians these days that's uh, what to do that's their precarious state and then welcome to the ninth house <laughs> ninth house ninth house <laughs> rahu associated with the ninth house or sun jupiter these kind of things you know the ninth house ninth house deals with your ideals ninth house <laughs> ninth house is the house which opens the doorway you know to higher things in life because guru is the karak for the ninth house and surya also both of them are showing light sun is the father and jupiter represents the gurus but rahu doesn't like that house <laughs> in fact it is said that that house is like maran karak sthan for rahu that is the house where rahu feels like i am going to die <laughs> and opposite of the ninth house which is third house rahu gets exalted there he says oh do hell with god i don't need god god is useless there is no god titanic when they built it they said titanic is a ship which even god cannot sink should i repeat titanic is a ship which god even god cannot sink what to speak of other people even even god cannot sink which means tsunami flood they to forget it but god personally comes down they also he also can't do anything and then you see what happens god doesn't need to come personally you know to destroy small things like the titanic one small iceberg can do the game that's what happened to the titanic so much ego so much uh, so much people are puffed up yes so many things have collapsed in this world which they have made by challenging god and nowadays atheism these things are increasing very much because people feel that what is the need to go what is the need of god you know the other day somebody had messaged me uh, there was a photo in that it was written that life is like ice cream enjoyed before it melts and then i wrote back to the person maybe he's watching this <laughs> i wrote back to the person that life is like a candle illuminate yourself and others before it melts yes should i repeat life is like a candle illuminate yourself and others before it melts but rahu tells you life is like ice cream this life is your only life yes that's all end of the story enjoy 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 dhanteras aa gaya sona kharido buy gold yes diwali came recently 
buy new sarees, buy new ornaments, buy a car, buy home. That's what Diwali is, right, in India. All the marketing sales go up in Diwali. That's what Diwali is, right? The most spiritual <laughs> program in India. That's Diwali. Which is actually celebrated because Lord Ram, the heart of heart of hearts of the people of Ayodhya, he returned after so many years. But that they will not celebrate. They will just do some small thing in the in the in their puja ghar in India and then that's it. End of Diwali. Diwali is over. Now the game starts. <laughs> I am from Assam, you know. In Assam, Bihu is celebrated. But unfortunately, Bihu and all these festivals, and if there's some Asmis who is watching this, they will be pained by hearing this, okay? Those are most of them are just avenues for drinking and eating pork. Yes, so many people I know. They will just eat pork and chicken and mutton pork especially in Assam and they will just drink wine recklessly that's what they do in Bihu you see that's what they are doing <laughs> forget it <laughs> that's what Rahu tells that this is the ninth house you know you don't need this God is useless the word of the Guru is useless that's what Rahu does so scripture says that get up early in the morning do the mantras lead a good life Good, good life in Sattva Guna. Stay committed to one spouse. Have a family. Don't partition the family. Second house. Rahu says, break the family. Have you seen people throwing their parents to old age home? And then they are fighting over property. That's what basically. Second house, right? Rahu's link with the second house. That's what Rahu is. Rahu says, break the family. Break it. Break it. Torde. <laughs> and then. Rahu tells us you don't need God, ninth house. God is not required. You can just have, uh, you can enjoy with anybody you want. You can do whatever you want. No need to follow any rules, regulations. Ninth house is rules, regulations. You don't need any of this, okay? You can do whatever you want. Do anything, anywhere, anytime. That's the motto of the human society. And that is why the situation of uh, the modern society is so precarious today. You can see what is happening, you know. These, that recently there was this Me Too movement which came out. So many women, they have expressed what horrific instances, incidences which have happened. But unfortunately, this is probably only the beginning. We, we never know what shape this Kali Yuga will take because people are getting so much angry and agitated and the frustration is so high. Yes, that they are going on indulging in all this. Either they will sit and watch pornography and if that is not giving them satisfaction, they will go to prostitutes if that is not giving them satisfaction oh you have seen a woman anywhere touch her if that is also not giving satisfaction grab her yes then you enjoy and in worst case you rape and kill her also so one of my parcel has come just a minute okay oops i'm back <laughs> all right so we were discussing about rahu's connection to the ninth house and how it tells us that you don't need God, you don't need these scriptures, you don't need to hear the sages, the rishis, the saints, and you can do whatever you want, all right? You will be very happy in this world. If you, if at all you break the religious traditions, you'll be the most happiest person. The only reason you are miserable is because you are following religion, you are following God, all right? This is how he threatens, how he cheats us, how he eludes us to go away from the ninth house. And then ultimately, Jupiter is also the Karaka for the 11th house. We all know that. And 11th house is the prime house of desire. Desire is what keeps making us come to this world again and again and again and again and again. All right. Actually, Jupiter is the Karaka for the 11th house in a way that is the Karaka for fulfillment of desires. Because whenever a desire is fulfilled, we get happy. <laughs> but that's the predicament, you see. It all Rahu actually rules the 11th house, so it is the root cause of desire. But what's the solution? The solution to Rahu is that we strengthen our Jupiter, we strengthen our sun, we strengthen our moon. How do we strengthen that? Well, I have made a video on remedies to sun, remedies to moon, and I will also make another video apart from these two videos on remedies of Jupiter. So you can watch that video and currently you can watch these two videos remedies to sun remedies to moon you'll find it in the description and also in the comments and regarding jupiter we need to do our spiritual practices diligently regular hearing of the scriptures yes 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 regular hearing second house is also the years okay 
second house the ninth house associating with our gurus associating with spiritual personalities 11th house network circles associating with spiritual network circles spiritual communities recently i had written a book five exotic secrets to happiness in that i have mentioned that the fifth principle of happiness is that we need to associate ourselves with a spiritual community because if we do not do that then we will see that all our commitments which we take on our spiritual life in our spiritual journey are gradually fading off they are falling apart we are not able to maintain them because we do not have the inspiration the faith the power which we get in the association of greatly elevated spiritual personalities you can find some spiritual center which is near to your city your town your village or inside your city town or village and in the weekends at least you can go and take their association ask questions to them humbly not with a mood of challenging or defeating them that will destroy your jupiter but with a mood to understand humbly what questions you have regarding your spiritual path and your life in general all right apart from astrology of course <laughs> and then we can visit holy places like kanchipuram you can visit mathura you can visit vindavan you can visit varanas you can visit haridwar you can visit hampi you can visit so many places and then morning when you get up we can read the scriptures all right and chant mantras have a sattvic lifestyle so when we read the scriptures we will have the intelligence by that the first house will be protected and then we will be satisfied in life then we will then that's the fourth house and fifth house is our active happiness what we do with our satisfaction that's what is the happiness so then we will do things which give us happiness in life okay rather than running behind things which give us misery and we will stay committed to one person which is the seventh house for the rest of our life hopefully <laughs> and then we will also be true to the ninth house which is the house of spirituality and our guru so if we just increase the power of the ninth house then we will automatically increase second house also because then we will be able to maintain our connections with our family members we will not cultivate those desires which encourage separation like even if there are property disputes then we may say you want this take it i don't want <laughs> anyways i will die one day what is the use of fighting for properties car this that my god of course if somebody has stripped you off and they have uh, made you a pauper some of your relative your brother or your sister then we may take charge on that that's different but generally <laughs> even when everything is fine people tend to have fights and quarrels that's because of rahu's influence on the second house sometimes okay and 11th house cultivate spiritual desires read the brahma samhita read shrimad bhagavatam read the ramayana read the mahabharat read the bhagavad gita chant shlokas sing bhajans talk about god this is how you inculcate spiritual desires into your consciousness which is the 11th house all right so there you go we discussed how rahu cheats us <laughs> okay hope this was not offending to anybody if somebody has felt offended then my sincere apologies <laughs> of course many people will write in the comments you are writing nonsense you don't know anything you are just bluffing well i'm used to it these days all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it you will find the button somewhere here <laughs> and if you want a consultation regarding our rahu sun moon or jupiter then you can go to my website you will find the link to my website also in the description section of this video and all my other videos below and there you go watch all the other videos in this playlist there are almost 100 videos so there you go god is there with you all the time hope he's there to save you from rahu okay until next time bye bye see you